Good morning once again, my dear brothers and sisters. Before I start my short reflection, I would like to ask you to remember the things that you have prayed for last Christmas season and last New Year. Ano itong mga ipinagpamibi nindo? Ano itong mga wishes nindo? I usually receive annually a pair of shoes from my sister. Ngunya na taon, I was hoping that I will receive the same. But unfortunately, I did not. Then I realized one thing after the celebration. Paghiling ko duman sa sapuyang shoe rack, kada pulun pa man pala ng sapatos, I still have few pairs of good quality and in good condition shoes for my games. Naisip ko sana, maybe she knew that it is not yet my time to have one. My dear brothers and sisters, the celebration of Christmas and New Year were done. Is your wish granted? Did you receive the gift that you prayed for? Is your problem solved? Are you healed of your sickness or ailment? Kada kulun sana. And that's the reason why I asked you a while ago to remember the things that you have prayed for and try to see if you have received the answer, if you have received the gifts that you prayed for. Many, if not all, have prayed so well last Simbang Gabi and Misa Aguinaldo. Because many of us think na sa paagi kan novenary masses na Simbang Gabi or Misa Aguinaldo, our wish will come true. Some attended the novenary masses with the intention of doing it so that God will listen to their prayers or wishes. Many, or maybe some of them, have received their due, received money from their ninong or ninang, or toys or expensive gadgets from their parents, from your company, from your school, maybe you have received your bonuses. Plenty of it. Ano po, kada kuligid ni Dung na po ang bonuses. Or even, a simple desire to be with loved ones was granted. But I'm pretty much sure as well that not all of us received what, been pray, what we have been praying for or wishing for. Arog sa kuya, day ko na receive itong gusto ko kuta. We need to realize, my dear brothers and sisters, that sometimes we need to accept the reality that some of what we wanted are not good for us this time, or not good totally for us or to others. And since we are eager to have them, sometimes we do whatever it takes just to have them, even up to the point of doing something the wrong way. Kaya ni ba napipiritan magibunin sala sa sa hindang kapwa because of this of their desire. And when the time comes that we have done so many things or prayed so hard to God, and yet we have not received something from God, we feel so frustrated about it. Sometimes we lose enthusiasm to continue. Or worse, 
we even lose faith in God. We tend to forget that God's plan is better than our plans. His desire is beyond our desires, and His will is greater than what we wanted. And because of that one, we feel so frustrated because we have forgotten that reality, that God's plan is basically greater than ours. Remember the characters last Christmas season and see how they have set aside their plans and will because they have seen that God's plan is far more pleasing than their personal ambitions and wishes. Mary said yes to God to be the mother of the Son of God. Joseph received the pregnant Mary in his house. Elizabeth and Zechariah patiently waited to have a child of their own. John the Baptist received with rejoicing and gladness the presence of Mary and Jesus. We are so familiar with their stories. We have seen their role in our salvific history. My dear brothers and sisters, even the three Magi humbled themselves in front of the newborn king. Basically, all of them prioritized the will and plan of God because they knew that God's plan is not for himself, but rather for the good and salvation of all. Since they understood that reality, their personal ambitions, wishes, desires were set aside. They man nagkulog ang buot ninda. In today's gospel, my dear brothers and sisters, we have heard the story of Jesus encountering a leper. The leper, just like any other person who is suffering from illness, wish to be healed. Isn't it? Nalungon niya na panahon kan pandemic. There are so many people praying for healing. There are so many people affected by COVID-19 wish to be healed so that they will have a good life. The experience of the pandemic is a concrete way for us to see the importance of prayer and healing coming from God. But the question is, are all sick of COVID or cancer or an, any other illness were healed, even if they have prayed intently to God? The iman, ano po? The iman gabus na pinagpamibita na umayan. Even as our personal experience can attest that even if we have prayed so hard and for so long, sometimes we don't receive the answer to our prayers. My dear brothers and sisters, all depends on God. Gabus na bagay, nakadipindi sa mahal na Diyos. He knew what is best for each and every one of us. He knew what is for the greater good. Mas anam nin mahal na Diyos kung noarin niyan dapat itao ang kasimbagan sa satuyang mga pamibi. He knew the time. The timing of God is different from ours. And therefore, we should patiently wait for God's timing because He knew what is best for us. The leper in today's gospel said something that is very important for us to reflect on. Ano ang sabi kayo ni Ingliproso? Lord, if you wish, you can make me clean. I repeat, Lord, if you wish, you can make me clean. Kung gugustuhan mo, kagurangnan, mauumayan, malilinigan ako. And Jesus said, I do will it be made clean. And the leprosy 
left him immediately. My dear brothers and sisters, the leper was healed not because he wished to be healed, but rather because Jesus wished him to be healed. Maski gusto kang leproso kung habo man kang Diyos, dahi siya mararahay. But because Jesus wished and willed, he was healed. The prayer was granted. His desire was basically materialized because of the will of Jesus. This is very clear, therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, that not our will will triumph, but rather the will of God. And therefore, if we look at the will of God in that kind of perspective, we should realize that it should be the priority. The will of God should be the priority of our life. Sometimes we are just praying, Lord, give me this. Lord, I want this. Let us try to ask the Lord in our prayer, Lord, what is it that you wanted me to do? Lord, what it is that you wish for me? Rather than praying all the things that we wanted, let's try to ask the Lord, what is it that you wanted for me to do? What is it that you wish to happen in this world? in our family, in our community, in our school, in our society. My dear brothers and sisters, let us take this one as a good point for reflection and ponder upon. Let us ask the Lord to do the things that He wished for us. Then, make His wish the priority of our lives. Because God knew what is best? His will is greater than ours. His love is transcending. His presence will endure. We prioritize the will of God and everything will be fine. Amen.